All right, so as expected, we got a data download this morning for part two of the seventh anniversary celebration on Global, which is starting uh, either tonight or tomorrow morning, depending on your time zone. Now, before we jump in, I do need to give a big shout out to my boy Proton10MG on Twitter for posting all these assets. If you guys aren't already following him, then definitely go ahead and do so. And yeah, with that said, scrolling down a little bit here, we are starting with the assets for the Token Awakening of LR Gohan Goten and Trunks. Now, most of you guys probably know that this unit does eventually get an Extreme Z Awakening, but that's not happening until part three of the celebration. So we have the LR Gohan, Goten, and Trunks, along with, of course, the new stages for the event, one of which does give the uh, Awakening Medals for the LR form, right? So I believe this is level four, level five, and level six. And then we have the Token Awakening for the uh, AGL Chi-Chi into the AGL Goku and Chi-Chi. Once again, Extreme Z Awakening in part three, but right now we're getting the Token Awakening. And uh, we have the three new stages right here, one, two, and three, along with the new Token Awakening medal. And then same thing for the uh, Fizz Vegeta that Token Awakens into this Vegeta and Bulma. We have the new stages, levels four, five, and six, and also the new Token Awakening medal. And then we have the new stages for the Ultimate Red Zone event for the GT edition. It's level three for General Wildo, and then level four for Baby. And for the movie side, we have level 3 versus Cooler, and then level 4 versus the Fusion Android 13. And from there, we have some uh, really big Extreme Z battles for the Extreme Z Awakening of Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and Omega Shenron. So these, of course, are the uh, Extreme Z Awakening medals for the Tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. And then we have the Extreme Z Awakening medals for the Fizz Omega Shenron, the original category leads for the game. And then we also have another uh, Extreme Z battle event, Destined Rivals Saga 4 for the Super Saiyan God Goku and the Super Saiyan God Vegeta, specifically the Tech Super Saiyan God Goku and the uh, STR Super Saiyan God Vegeta. We have, obviously, their token, or sorry, their uh, Extreme Z Awakening medals for the Goku and also the Vegeta. And uh, after that, we have the Extreme Z uh, Dokkan Festival ticket. Uh, this one will be for the Omega Shenron and the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. So if you guys don't have them, you do have a chance to pull them on the Extreme Z uh, battle banner that they always give us. But, um,. I don't know if I would necessarily recommend it. Obviously, if you guys really want them right now, then you could buy the tickets. These are not going to be free to play, by the way. They are available for purchase with, uh, you know, real money, right? So uh, that's an option. If you want that, I don't feel like it's great value, but it's obviously up to you. And uh, we have some updated assets. So apparently the baby larval form asset was updated. I don't know exactly what was changed about it but yeah this was updated we also got an update to the free to play str videl's um art supposedly i'm not sure what was changed here either because proton didn't put up a comparison this time so um if you guys are really familiar with the original art apparently there's something that was changed so there you go and then we have some updated tutorial movies. So, uh, yeah, apparently the, you know, clip with uh, Goku, Piccolo, and Raditz was changed in some way. And then we also have an update to this uh, angry Kid Gohan clip as well. So you guys can take a look. Um, tell me what's different. I'm not really sure. Okay, and then after that, we have a few new scripted event assets, so basically like story assets and stuff like that. Uh, we have a Goku here, we have a Kid Gohan here, 
uh, a couple of Vegeta's, Grade 8 Vegeta, and then just the Vegeta with a tail and without a tail. And then we have a Teen Oob, and the Larval Form Baby that was updated, and also some missions, of course, for uh, Part 2, along with the new missions for the uh, GT Legendary Goku event, and also Legendary Vegeta event. And I believe that's it. Those are all the new assets, all the updates we got for this new data download for Part 2 of the 7th anniversary. Obviously, we are still missing the assets for the uh, Part 2 banner, but as I said in yesterday's video, um, that's not coming for another week. So we will get a separate data download for the Part 2 banner with the LR Kalkan Goku and the Grade 8 Vegeta, but for now, this is everything we're getting for the start of part two. Um, a good amount of content, definitely more things to do, not as eventful as part one, but uh, this should definitely, I think, be enough to satisfy people until the part two banner drops. So uh, there you go, guys. That is the data download. And lastly, before I go, I will quickly go over the details of these free-to-play token awakenings uh, for those of you that are curious about them. Okay, so... Uh, here we go. Let's pop over to the Dokkan Wiki here. And we're going to start here with the LR Gohan Goten and Trunks. Now, in this video, I will be going over the pre-Extreme Z Awakening details because that's what we're getting for Part 2. And then once Part 3 rolls around, we can talk about what they do with the Extreme Z Awakenings you know, when they get them, right? So for the LR here, um, what is this? Page unresponsive. Okay, I'm going to say wait. We can still scroll through it, so it should be fine. Okay, so uh, leader skill is Hybrid Saiyans or Joined Forces, Category Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 80%, 12 Key Super raises attack for one turn and causes colossal damage, and 18 Key Super greatly raises attack for one turn and causes mega colossal damage. And passive is activates the entrance animation upon entry once only, Key plus 3, and attack and defense plus 70% for 7 turns. From start of turn, attack and defense plus 70%, and then key plus 1 plus an additional attack plus 70%. When there is an ally, whose name includes Goku, Youth, Captain Ginyu Jr., etc. excluded, on the team. Key plus 1 plus an additional defense plus 70%. When there is an ally, whose name includes Vegeta, Id Jr., etc. excluded, on the team. And their links are Saiyan Warrior Race, Saiyan Lineage, Solid Support, Cold Judgment, uh, Shocking Speed, Shattering the Limit, and Legendary Power. And categories are Hybrid Saiyans, Majibu Saga, Joint Forces, and Bond of Parent and Child. So there is the LR Token Awakening. And then we have the uh, AGL Goku and Chi Chi Token Awakening once again before the Extreme Z Awakening. Leader Skill, Goku's Family, Category Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 50%. Uh, super attack raises attack and defense for one turn and causes supreme damage. And passive is attack and defense plus 80% plus an additional attack and defense plus 22% per attack performed up to 44% and medium chance of launching an additional super attack. And then there's an active skill, which is Banjo Fan can be activated after performing four or more super attacks during battle once only. Greatly raises attack temporarily, causes ultimate damage, and delays a single targeted enemy's attack for one turn. And the links are Courage on the Family, Solid Support, Infighter, Incredible Adventure, Guidance on the Dragon Balls, and Shattering the Limit. And categories are Joint Forces, Goku's Family, and Bond of Parent and Child. And lastly, we have the Fizz, Vegeta, and Bulma Dokken Awakening. Leader skill is Vegeta's Family, Category Q plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 50%. Super attack supreme damage, passive attack and defense plus 80%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 40% when performing a super attack, reduces damage received by 10%, and then changes into a different battle suit when conditions are met. And the conditions are changes into the battle suit starting from the fourth turn. From start of battle, links are Brainiacs, Prodigies, Saiyan Lineage, Solid Support, Cold Judgment, Royal Lineage, and Shattering the Limit. And categories are Joint Forces, Vegeta's Family, and Bond of Parent and Child. And with the Battle Suit change here, the uh, Super Attack I think is the same. It's just Supreme Damage still, right? Yeah, still Supreme Damage, but the passive is different. 
attack and defense plus 90%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 44% when performing a super attack, reduces damage received by 10%, and then medium chance of an additional damage reduction of 10%. So, there you go guys, that is the full breakdown of the three free-to-play token awakenings, and uh, that is the data download. A big shout out once again to my boy Proton at 10MG for providing us with the assets. Always appreciate it. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you guys are excited for part two of the celebration. Lots more content to come. And as always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And uh, until next time. Have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.